everyone, it's me, Megan. And I'm Jessie. Jessie, you seem a little down. What's wrong? I got in trouble for being mean to my little brother, so my mom made me go to my room. And worst of all, I didn't get to watch my favorite show, Koala Karate Squad. Oh, I'm sorry you had to go to your room and miss your favorite show, Jessie. It's not fair! I'm so mad at my mom. Uh, Jessie, I know you're upset, but your mom was showing she loves you by sending you to your room. What? What do you mean? Being mean to your brother is not right. If your mom didn't teach you to do the right thing, you would think it's okay to do the wrong thing. Letting someone do the wrong thing is not loving them. Oh, I, I guess I see what you mean. I know it isn't fun, Jesse. Something similar happened in today's Bible story. God's people would not obey him. God loved his people, so he had to do something hard to teach them to obey. Let me tell you about it. Josiah, the king of Judah, had three sons, Jehoahaz, Jehoiakim, and Zedekiah. Josiah had a grandson too. His name was Jehoiakim. Each of them had a turn at being king. None of them was good like King Josiah. After Josiah died, Jehoahaz became king. Jehoahaz was not king for very long. He did bad things that God did not like. The king of Egypt took Jehoahaz away and made him a prisoner. So Jehoahaz's brother, Jehoiakim, became king. 
Jehoiakim also did what was wrong. The king of Babylon took Jehoiakim away and made him a prisoner. So Jehoiakim's son, Jehoiakim, became king. Jehoiakim also did what was wrong. The king of Babylon sent some of his servants to Judah. They took Jehoiakim to Babylon. The king of Babylon made Jehoiakim's uncle king. His name was Zedekiah. Zedekiah also did what was wrong. He led God's people to do wrong things too. God loved his people. He did not want to destroy them, so he sent prophets to talk to the people. The prophets said, stop sinning, love and obey God. But the people did not listen. It was time for God to punish the people of Judah for their sin. God allowed the king of Babylon and his armies to attack the people in Judah, and many of the people died. The king of Babylon took everything out of the Lord's temple and burned the temple. They tore down the wall that stood around the city of Jerusalem. The army destroyed anything that was left. The king of Babylon took the rest of the people to Babylon, and he made them work for him and his family. All of this happened just as God said it would. God was right to punish his people because they sinned, but God still loved them and he was going to give his people a good king, just like he said he would. Many years later, God sent his son Jesus to be our king forever. Jesus took the punishment we should get for our sin.